Well, one of the questions on your mind might be, how the f did I just get here? Well, I didn't just appear out of nowhere. Ah, I'll show you. Come have a look. As I left Germany, I checked into a hotel. Steinbrecher or something, I don't know. The room was very basic, one bed and a TV. Nothing special, but at least I got a free soap. I wasn't actually sure how all of that stuff got in my pockets, but man, it was good to lighten the load. Now, it's time to relax, because tomorrow I begin the long, arduous journey to New Zealand, homeland. Let's go! The flight was just like any other, but it was going to be a long journey, so I thought it more wise to sleep most of the way. Of course, if that's even possible. After what seemed like 13 years in the sky, we eventually met to Taipei, Taiwan, where we made our way to another hotel as our flight was cancelled. Just gonna film a few bits of this. Eventually we made it to the hotel, which wasn't too bad considering the circumstances. At this time, we were the tourists. I'm not gonna lie, but the food scared the shit out of me. Lots of crazy things I just couldn't identify. I found the safest thing to do was just to eat a piece of apple and go check into my hotel room. Bro! It wasn't half the shit as I was expecting it to be. I even got a nice view of the city to go with it. To be fair, there was something quite beautiful about this overcrowded place, but now... Time to sleep. Time to sleep indeed. <laughs> In what felt like only as little as 10 seconds of sleep later, we were on the go again. Uh, good morning ladies and gentlemen, as you can have speaking, I'd like to welcome you for today's flight. <laughs> Chair. That's exactly right, bro. But eventually, we made it to Sydney, Australia. All we needed to do now is swap planes, and we we're on the last part of the journey. Where are you going to, man? Uh, New Zealand, Auckland. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it was good to know that we're all aiming for the same place. For us, I would have been on the wrong aeroplane. By that time, I was pretty tired. After the aeroplane took off, I had glanced out the window. I must have fallen asleep because next minute, we had arrived. I'm not gonna lie, but it felt good to be back. And this is only just the airport. I couldn't wait to breathe the nice fresh air, but first, I'm gonna grab my bag. I don't know why I have all these things with you. Hello, my friend. Hello, my friend. Holy shit, can we have a sad? The next thing to do was to get a bus down to the boat. After about 24 minutes, I was close enough to smell a salt water breeze. It was magnificent. All these familiar sights and sounds as the boat pushed off into the ocean and left the wharf behind us. I knew it wouldn't be long and I'd be stepping off onto homeland. Within a few minutes, 
We had left the city behind us and we had arrived. Bro! Hey, bro. Home sweet home. Pretty much, bro. It was nice to be back. Before I had time to close my eyes, the next morning was here. Although I was still very tired, there's no way I could sleep with all that familiar beauty outside my window. As I wandered out towards the kitchen, there was a hot breakfast of cooked eggs on a bun and a nice juice to go with it. Not bad. Hey, thanks, grandmother. Kilda, bro. Outside was absolutely stunning. I couldn't wait to start exploring. But this is only the backyard. I was more than keen to go and check out the island I was born on and lived on for so many years. So let's go. Radness. Let's go have a look about. Come, let me take you for a tour around some of Waheke Island's beautiful and most memorable scenic locations. Like this coastal area, for example. Te Araha. This beach, this coast, and this other beach. This road, this car, and more water. Lots of water. More cars parked at the local shop. Everyone seems pretty relaxed because they all park with their doors unlocked and windows down. Oh, and check out this woman grabbing a piece of string. Cool. Anyway, Waiheke Island is well known for its ocean view. Now, these houses have a prime location because they're right by the beach. They have what we call an ocean view. But let's have a look at some proper ocean views. Like this one, for example. And what about this one? And... This one with some beautiful pink flowers. Cool. And what about this one? Beautiful coast lookout point. And these guys down on the rocks. Well, that's all I've got to show you for this time. If you want to come and see more, just have to come and check it out. All film locations to be here, copyright, battery's not included.